Okay, so I got my home video done and now I want to export it, which means I'm going to create an actual video file and the idea is I want it to look as good as possible but also the file size to be as small as possible. And in fact, in this class, you're supposed to make a, um, for this assignment, it's supposed to be less than 50 megabytes for three minutes, which is fine. <clears throat> If you're not showing it in a movie theater or something like that and so um, yeah it's not that unreasonable at all with the comp compression techniques we have today so the first thing I want to do and this is um, simple but crucial is I want to make sure I select the sequence see so I've clicked on the actual sequence or it, it gets confused so now I go file export media and I come to this uh, export window now one of the things to notice right off that's a little tricky is down here in the bottom it actually shows you what the estimated file size is. Now I've already been messing with this so yours is going to be set like I think by default it says match source high bit rate. So I actually see the file size is 73 megabytes. But what I'm going to do is go down to what I would recommend HD 720p 29.97. Alright, so then the, I noticed that my file size is 44 megabytes and I want it to be 15. But first of all, our next thing I want to make sure is where this file is going to be saved and what it's called. Now that's actually not a very good name for it. That just happened to be what the sequence was named. So I'll probably call it something else. Let's say Maureen in India. And so I'm going to at least now it knows where it's going and it'll show you where the path is but now I still get a file that's 45 megabytes that needs to be 15 so what I'm gonna do is this little tricky thing I'm gonna scroll down here on the right in the middle and go to the bitrate settings and right now it says 6 and um, I'm going to change that number until it's little enough and this this will dramatically change things and it, the size and it won't change the quality too much unless it gets too low so see now we're down to 30 megabytes now we're down to 20 so I'm just going to type the number in here let's say 2.5 that's 19 I'm going to say 2 that's 15 what I need but here's one tricky thing I got to warn you is that actually um, it it's a little bigger than the estimate so it'll come out a little bigger but it still should be around 50 megabytes and I could also just keep making that target bit rate smaller. Another thing um, that I noticed in my case was like with this video is that the size so if you scroll up the actual size it was kind of weird it puts 1280 by 720 by default but the video's orientation is a little bit different so you might have to mess with this width and height and what, uh, what I did was I clicked on match source it made the file a little bit uh, it made the obviously the uh, the window bigger and it also made this file size a little bit bigger I mean the frame a little bigger and the file size a little bigger but then all the pictures fit better but you can mess with that the main thing the main trick is this bitrate button and so now I, I click on export and um, it starts exporting the movie. So now I find my file and actually it's 18.3 megabytes, which is bigger than I thought, but let's see if the what the quality's like. The quality looks just fine and I made a pretty small file and I could make it even smaller file size and still have pretty good quality. Okay, well that's how you export from Premiere Pro.